All right, ladies and gentlemen, happy Friday. It is at UFC 293 Eve, and we are back with another uh, batch of the Watch Your Mic Picks. Week two of doing this. We're going to keep doing this in line with our podcasts and our guests that we're bringing on to our talk show, which we're usually doing live on Thursday afternoons over on our Twitch. So if you're interested in seeing that content live and not just pre recorded on this YouTube, don't forget to head over to our Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Hambino with three O's, just like on YouTube. And you can catch that show and tons of other content live as well. Without further ado, let's jump into some picks here and we'll try to make this fast yet calculated and we're going to start off with our first segment of these pick videos where we go into the risky but calculated segment where we usually got some junkyard dogs that i think can hit first one up my dude gabriel miranda coming in after his ufc debut against benoit saint denis he did get tko'd in this fight however up until that moment he showed a great ability to wrestle as well as scramble and he showed some glimpses of some good striking on the feet i think what we can say from these past few outings of seeing mr saint denis is he is just a different animal and shane young is not Shane Young is a wildly average fighter. I mean no disrespect by that. You could see it in his past fight tape. You could see it in his stats. Nothing he really does is phenomenal. He is average striker and a subpar wrestler on a three-fight skid. I think Miranda's movement and well-rounded skill set is way too much for Shane. Plus 130 on Miranda. Cash the dog. It's coming, baby. Ho, ho. All right, we're moving into our next pick. Not so much a dog here as the money has shifted a little bit and we're looking at some even money, but at minus 110, we're going with the pleasure man, Mr. Anton Terkalj. Um strong wrestling man strong strong wrestling he's averaging seven takedowns per fight boys at a 51 percent accuracy clip uh his last bout against petrino was extremely competitive and as we've seen petrino on this three fight win streak is a future stud okay tyson pedro is a veteran he's fought a lot of different fighters and he he is good and depending on what version shows up you know this this pick could be a little bit risky however i don't think that Pedro will be able to sustain the cardio of the wrestling of Anton, and that is going to be his struggle. I expect Anton to grab him up early in round one, wear down on him, and completely deplete him. So moving into the rounds two and three, Pedro really doesn't have that power to rely on where we will see Anton grind it out. I do think that this fight is also a very high likelihood of not going the distance, whether it be from an Anton sub or a Pedro ground and pound. That's at minus 250, but I do like the 110, uh, the 110, the 110 Anton pick uh, there just on the money line. So that's going to be our risky but calculated section. And now we're going to head on over to the safe and secure for everybody who likes to play it a little bit less risky and our first pick there is going to be the black jag baby carlos olberg the hometown favorite uh the, the one of the australian fighters that is on the card this weekend uh dude phenomenal striker incredible kickboxer we see he's on a three uh fight first round finish streak his chin has been tested before he was finished by kennedy uh but he was caught in a fight where he was dominating there if you ask me and that's just what happens sometimes when you're fighting at these heavier weights uh i'll be real honest with you jung's career does not impress me at all he had a draw with sam alvey he was outstruck by devin clark and that weird win that he got over kennedy with those elbows doesn't really excite me when you watch that back you see that it was just a weird elbow that caught kennedy kind of like how kennedy caught olberg uh, i expect jung to get knocked out in this fight just like he did when he fought justin dustin jacoby i think he struggles with the kickboxing style he is tall and he does have the reach advantage i just think that olberg striking is way too dynamic and will not be just walking forward like kennedy did let's cash that at minus 278 our next safe and secure pick is going to be the uh the talk of the week with his press conference shenanigans manel cape at minus 380 after dropping his first two ufc bouts cape has been on a tear boys explosive counter striking and a violent style uh his opponent in front of him very game felipe dos santos out of shoot boxing uh I, this is going to be a great fight boys this this probably be fight of the night uh i do think that this style that dos santos will bring is actually bad for him in this fight against cape cape is is a very great counter striker very explosive and dos santos has that shoot boxing forward 
pressure style. Uh, coming forward with those heavy strikes, I actually do expect Cape to find some huge counters just like he has in his past fights against Zalgos and uh, Dovrak. Uh, so I do think that at 380, Cape is your next safe and secure pick. And we're going to round this segment out with a parlay choice as well. We got three fights for you that I think are coming together for some really good odds at plus 123. We're going to keep our safe and secure and put them into the parlay with Olberg and Cape. And our third leg is going to be Volkov and Toivasa does not go the distance. That's going to bring you in at plus one, two, three odds on the DraftKings. We like to see the plus one, two, three little universal sign maybe that that one could sprinkle. Uh, guys, so that's our picks for watching Mike this week. Uh, we were supposed to do a podcast with my brother Renato Money Moicano this week, but we had some issues. I have a big event going on for some other business things, so I was not able to get it going this week. However, we will be back next week with my brother Moicano and our next episode. I have some other fighters lined up as well for some future shows we're going to look to try to get at least two of these shows out a month but i'd love to be doing this once a week but in the meantime you can expect weekly breakdowns and picks here from the watching mike team uh so guys thanks again for tuning into this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to check out our other platforms and i hope everybody enjoys ufc 293 in sydney australia